the first player side, and we have uh, Core from Team DMG Mad Cats representing with Bob. Is this a button check? Here we go, Rip versus Core! Alright, you heard it over the PA. I think we're about to get into it right now. Rip! This is a button check. Is yeah, for a button check. check. This is a button check. So, I mean, the tournament's been playing pretty well. Everybody's been getting hyped. Seeing players from all over the place from France. Like, we've had Reinhardt. We have a ton of people from France. We also have Japanese players, obviously. And the U.S. has been holding their own. Playing really, really well against everybody. So, hopefully, all you guys at home are going to be able to see what top tier players. This is the World Championships. This isn't a tournament that's going to be in your, uh, your parents' apartment. <laughs> This is oh. the one to win, the one that you're going to sit and brag about with all your friends. That's so. right. I heard we have some more surprises from you guys a little bit later Absolutely. on. Absolutely. Uh, one of the things that we want to do is just cater to our audiences who are interested in Tech Attack Tournament 2. So we got ahead and brought an Evo exclusive build to show how this game play plays. And on top of that, we're going to have the Tech Project right, team themselves to talk about the new build. Rip. But right now, we're about to get into it. And his opponent, we got Core! We're going to have DJ Core, DMG, represent Madcast. Versus level up your games, rip. We're about to get into it. This is it. Round one, set one. All right, we're in the snow. There's no walls here. Now again, this is a popular match that we've seen a lot last year at Evolution. A lot of laws, a lot of bot players, but Let's totally see. different play styles. Just bring James and Rip, two very very solid players, but easily able to separate the styles from one another. Good throw break right there by Rip. It's kind of cheap, I think, that Law using the white outfit and he's in the snow kind of camouflages himself in there. Hey, it's just another piece of strategy that <laughs> always has to come into play when you're in a fighting game tournament. Rip gets a wall standing, too. Oh, he goes for the little reset. No one home. Core was aware of this, but Core has rage. Ooh, that would have done a lot of damage, but he does get blocked. Good reactions by Rip. Rip takes the first round against Core. Core, one of the fastest backdashes in the entire community. On both sides, so try to utilize this endless stage as something that he can use. Okay, good punish there by Core. No, he didn't get a launch like most characters. Gets a nice combo. No punish right there, but does get the throw. Core with a pretty heavy lead, but Rip answering back, trying to just take as much as he can. 30 seconds left on the clock. This is round two. Ooh. Looks like he was going for a slide there instead of the down three. He gets the counter at four. This should be big damage. Let's see if he's going go for a mix-up right here. Looks like the crowd oh. is getting into it as well. That's it. So second round goes to Rip. All right, Rip right now up two rounds to nothing in this first match between Rip and DMG MCZ4. Core has got to turn up his game just a little bit. Oh, nice. Oh, oh. that was a very smart option. He knew he was going to come in with that. There's a little crush over there. Right, Core, wow. Good low parry right there by Core. Gets the max damage from the low parry for Bob. Oh, he whips. The Rip's not going to miss that opportunity. Great punish right there by Rip. So Rip takes that first set, three rounds to none against DJ Core. How are you liking this match right now? I'm, I'm really, um, it's, it's hard to say who's going to win because you can't really ever count out Core. Core obviously won uh, CEO 2011, and that was with a lot of very good talent over there. But then again, you can never, you never can count out Rip, who's runner up for last year's Evo. That's right. So. And on top of that, all the tournaments around these guys have been playing pretty, pretty well, and they've been doing, they've been doing good at all the tournaments. They're not winning. I wonder what's going on through Rip's head, because Rip's actually been playing a lot of Tech Attack too, since you guys have been making the little world tour. So I wonder if that really affects his gameplay at all, because there are big differences in within the two games. I think he's doing a great job. He has to be. He's in top eight. This is it. This is top eight. But we do have Sheep. The crowd is cheering. Oh, he's forgetting the hype. A little too slow for the punish there. Nice. Catches him sidestepping. And Rip, again, very solid. Takes the first round. Here we go. So Core's really going to have to answer it's right now. It's a back turn. Wow. Stuff coming up. Punishes him with a throw. Core playing pretty well. Hasn't got a tap yet. Ripped down to about 50%. A little slow right there on the wall standing 1-1. One, one. A 1-2. One, Good throw break right there. The oh, he catches him ducking. That's right, the sheep are going crazy. Goes for the tech trap. Oh, he knew he knew the range. That hitbox on that unblockable is extra long, so he's very smart to get him later. Oh, he's almost at it. And steps on him for the win. So Rip one round away from going ahead and advancing later on in this, in this huge, crazy top eight bracket. We might have all Southern California winners bracket finals. Good have it. The law versus law. The law of America is going at it. All right, here we go. Rip looking real healthy in this round. Has a slight life advantage. 
the sheep are behind them. They're all wearing the same color shirts. Uh oh, it's confusing. What's going on here? Oh, banana, oh, banana peel. Banana peel. <laughs> Get banana peel. Whoa, he tried to bait him in for that. That was really good. That's right. Oh, no break here from the, the rim. Throw. The one throw right there. Pro Pro puts him in position to hit him with the chop. And goes for the down back three plus two. So good round right there by Core. Core finally on the scoreboard with one round. Let's see if he can turn it around right now. He needs to. Starts around with the grand. Oh, there it is. Counter hit. Now that was one of the moves that actually put him in that fi that grand final for last year. He's actually been the entire year. Waiting for you to get it. Oh, he goes for it again. He's feeling himself. People at home got to remember that it is very punishable. But, but not by matchup, Bob. But in this matchup yeah. versus Bob. Ooh, Core, very smart. He was already ducking, uh, anticipating the whip one to get the max damage uh, launcher there for himself. Core, wow. I feel like I feel something crazy from Brent. Down to three. <laughs> there you go. There we go. All right. Back. Now we got a match. We got a match. We're in the final round of this set. Core looks like he's back into his game, but is it too late? Find out. Good throw rate right there. Okay, Core doing a real good job. He's sidestepping the right way this time. Catching Rip in a lot of his stuff. Sidestepping right, maybe forcing Rip to try to go ahead and opt out to a down forward two, and then punishing accordingly, but we'll see. Looks like he knows the range exactly where he needs to be. Oh, Rip is, is just standing there, yeah, waiting for him sure. to come in. Rip, no matter what it says in this round, Rip is still in the lead. Oh, oh, he catches him! He catches him looking. Match is close to even. What's gonna happen? Any any solid hit can do it here. Oh! What a counter! What an answer! Rip answers back with a side set, three plus four, advances into the next part of the tournament, and we got more to come.